What's well, crackalackin' everyone, Keaton here from TechSmart, and today we have a lot of exciting news. We're going to be going over my predictions for WWDC 2013. So just a little filler here, if you do not know what WWDC is, it's the Worldwide Developers Conference hosted by Apple. It usually takes place in June, uh, and it's definitely one of the hottest months in tech, so we have a lot to talk about, a lot of predictions, and the conference starts from June 10th through June 14th, so it's going to be a whole week of goodness coming up, and it's definitely one of the weeks I look forward to. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what my predictions are for WWDC. So first and foremost, we're going to be seeing the release of iOS 7. So right now, outside of the Moscone Center, where WWDC's keynote will be held, and pretty much the entire event, we see the number 7. It's kind of subtle, but still has got a lot of pop in there, and really gives you a hint that iOS 7 is going to be subtle, but really give you those features that you want to see. Tim Cook called it skeuomorphic, uh, and since Johnny Ives is the lead developer for the team right now, I gotta tell you, we're gonna see a lot of great things within iOS. So the main thing that I need to see is a user and someone who recommends iOS to a lot of people because that's what I use on my daily driver. I gotta see a lot more change. Android is currently what I would recommend as of now due to the fact that they're constantly innovating, they're constantly having updates, and they're really giving users a way to keep ahead of other competitors such as Windows Phone, if we call that a competitor, and iOS. So. I want widgets, I want a lot of great things in here such as you know giving you more interaction that you wouldn't really see on Android and that is definitely proprietary to iOS. I need to see features like that, more examples of like that rather than just you know getting even with Android. When you try to play to get even, it doesn't really work out. You need to play to win and to get ahead in this industry because this industry is thriving, it's very vast, and there's a lot of competitors that want to knock you out of the top spot. So iOS 7 will bring a lot of great features and there's going to be a lot of great uh, testings and developers out there who really are going to make this software the greatest and is going to allow Apple to go ahead and pull ahead in the kind of head-to-head -head market with Android. So I do expect the Mac Pros as well as the MacBook Pro Retina and standard MacBook Pros to be updated with the new Haswell chipsets that were just released by Intel in the last few weeks. They've been the talk of the town and I do think with incorporation of these chips it'll really give users a new way to go ahead and buy computers and a compelling reason to go ahead and upgrade to the newest model. Typically in the past they go ahead and do this but there's not really much in technology that would want me as a consumer to go ahead and buy the computers as if just an update in the chipset isn't too much of a change for me. Uh, maybe if they brought back the 17 inch with my laptop, that would be a compelling reason to go ahead and buy a laptop, but of course they discontinued that, so I don't think we'll be seeing that. In terms of the Mac Pros, I think they're gonna go ahead and give it a new look, uh, and give it more of a, an aesthetically pleasing look. I love the Mac, the Mac Pro design as of now, but I think if they kind of made it a bit slimmer and a bit more appealing to consumers, it'd definitely be a hit out of the park. Uh, they need to update it though. If they don't update it, I'm gonna consider it discontinued like the 17 inch MacBook Pro. So it is an essential for this show that they go ahead and update that uh, if they wanna keep it alive and they want consumers to keep purchasing it because a Xenon chip really doesn't cut it in this standard. So finally, the last thing that we will be seeing at the WWDC conference is a new release of OS X. So right now it's OS X Mountain Lion. I like it, although I feel it's a bit clunky, but trying to figure out the name is kind of fun. So some people think it'll be called Snoop Lion with the rapper Snoop Dogg's face on it. I highly doubt that will happen. I'm personally thinking Sea Lion, is that's the only kind of lion I can think of. But Apple likes to go ahead and work with cats, uh, so to speak, and have it in the cat family. Um, and there's not many other lions and cats I can think of that they haven't used um, already. So Apple, you have a few options here. You can go ahead and create a new animal that we've never heard of before, uh, breed this species, and then go ahead and name it with a lion or a leopard, something like that. Or you can go ahead and use sea lion and start to move over to the aquatic animals, which I think would be really cool. Um, but hey, Snoop lion is always an option, and Snoop doggy dog, where are you at? So things that we will not be seeing at WWDC is the iWatch. The iWatch has captivated the news. It has absolutely grabbed everyone by the throat and said, this is the future. This is what technology will look like. Wearables are the next big thing. We see smartwatches, Google Glass, things that really allow you to stay connected with your world. You know, you can go and talk to people while bringing technology into it without having to reach into your pocket and pull out your phone. I know that is such a hard task. It is super hard, but Wearables are the next big thing. So since the iWatch has really captivated attention, you know, we found out the parts, things like that, I think Apple's gonna have their own event for it. Why? Because it is it has really captured the media. Why put it in a conference that already has great things released in it and kind of 
dilute the kind of coverage towards that and have it bring over to, brought over to an iWatch. Give the iWatch its own event, give the products their own event. It just makes a lot more sense and it allows Apple to keep the revenue up and still keep all the platforms happy as Apple likes to keep all platforms happy and constantly innovating. And finally, the last product that we will not see at WWDC 2013 is the iPhone 5S. I'm gonna completely rule out the iPhone 6 as the name, but we're gonna go with the iPhone 5S. So with the iPhone 5, we pretty much saw the phone leaked up and towards up until the event, at least the week before, and we kind of had an idea what the iPhone 5 would look like. Considering we've only seen a few images of just the components and not really the shell of the phone itself, I'm going to rule out completely that we will be seeing that. And again, as we said with the iWatch, give the two biggest products their own event as it will captivate the media's attention and allow Apple to keep thriving with their all their platforms and allow them to stay equal in terms of revenue and attention like that. If you go ahead and you know separate one platform or with another, you're kind of ruining your products and what you've really built the Apple name on. I mean, if you go ahead and release an iWatch or an iPhone at this event, what's that really going to say to OS X? It's really going to kind of dilute the media's attention towards that. Uh, at least that's what I think. And I think by giving it its own event, it'll still keep the news kind of, you know, wanting, wanting more, wanting that iWatch. Because it will happen. Just comes down to a time and I personally don't think an iPhone or an iWatch will be released. So what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that we'll be seeing iOS devices there or a new iteration of OS X? Let me know what you think in the comments section down below as I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button as you do not want to miss the coverage that we have coming up on the WWDC event. We'll be having so much coverage that I personally don't know if you guys can actually handle it. Also, be sure to check out my alleged specifications video for the iWatch and iPhone and a lot of other great products alleged by Apple. They can be found right below the like button on this video. Thank you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you guys next week.